8 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since 5. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. You're bringing your drone today? I think I took all the change already. Cool. Okay, let me yeah, just say. Right we'll see. Alright, we'll see. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. Welcome back to Avid Grenier. Wait a minute. What? That looks a little weird. It makes my head look like, like I have a cone head or something. Maybe I won't, I won't do that. <laughs> anyway, so good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And thank you again for all of your support last week and all of your views, messages, and your support on Etsy. We really appreciate it. I've heard from several of you through personal messages that you really like seeing the process of the the um, the picking out of the items and I know in my last video I did not really show that because I needed to condense it I was focusing more on the styling so I think with this video I will definitely show you what we're up to Justin wants to bring the little mics and you know but I always really I get embarrassed when I'm out in public and I have my little mic on and my camera on but I've been really really good and respectful and asking people if I can film their little stall and it's most especially after I buy something or usually I just get really excited I don't even think about the camera because as, as I mentioned two videos ago that I'm more focused on the shopping than I am the filming but I would like to focus more on the shopping so you can see where we're at what we pick out and from where not necessarily from who give you a stereo update and Harry update. Here we are entering Tournay. That is amazing. Yes. That's so nice. Also, like this right here. It's actually really beautiful. Look at that, that one too. Mm. We're even posed to the jewelry. Wow. That'd be beautiful to photograph like that. We have just left the village of Tournay and now we are headed to Bagnères de Bigorre where you have been there with us once before for the Christmas market. So it's not a Vigne Grenier, it is an antiques fair. So there'll be all professionals, high-end quality things. Although at the Vigne Greniers you do find high-end quality things. I'm so excited. Approximately 15 minutes away from Tournay where we just left. Beautiful drive in. It's right here. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. It's like another Medici. Can you read the label? Mm -hmm. No. Let me see. It's for a little kid. Justin, these. 
pour le 4. Villa Rienbosch. like this one. That's beautiful. What do you think of this one? Sure. We'll do a tour, we'll come back. Look at that one. Beautiful though. Oh, seriously. Justin found this little thing. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's find out this one. I really liked this set too. Oh, oh, those are gorgeous. Oh, la, la. I picked up this beautiful one here. And Justin found a mirror. Oh. It's worth the investment. Oui, ça c'est un investment. Okay, well, we are now leaving Bagnères de Bigor. As you saw, all the great, beautiful things we found here today. I'm so thrilled. So, what's next? Hello. Oh, hello. So um, it's snack time. We are now headed to the next village called Argele. Gazo. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Eight minutes away. Look at all these Pyrenean mountain towns. Berene. likes the uh, Tour de France? Let me know in the comments. Two minutes. Have you been here in the south of Yes, hello, I'll take you. Big park. This is a lovely village. Very active. Oh, oh lovely. Oh. oh. Yep, that's definitely where it is. That is? Oh, Oh lucky. my God, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one? We should oh. bring both of our bags because it looks like a big fun one in a park. <laughs> this is how I maneuver through the car in tight spaces. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. True day in the life. Look at some of these homes. Oh, I hope we find some beautiful things here. You see it over there? Justin's tall, so he can look over the hedge line. I know it. We should have came here first. Walking in. Holy shit. Found this beautiful one. I love this. 19th century. Beautiful. Let's continue on. You're going to put it in this? Put it in. Dog lovers. <laughs> Look, that would have been laughing. Heavy brass apple we got last yeah, yeah. time they have another one here so that, that would make you saw oh wow look at this mm. you like the really old stuff too don't you <laughs> justin knows i have a thing for baskets to pick this up and it's really tea stained and he thinks that this might be a selling point so you have to let me know i think this is what it would have looked like Originally, that's the color. Yep. Look at all the staining. I cannot believe the bottom. It says Paris on there. Wow. Well, I'll let I'll let it's our uh, viewers know, our friends, 
I want you guys to let me know what you think about that. Yeah, these have really cute little houses here. Beautiful houses. Look at this little dog. Cuckoo. Oh, what is that? It's a that jewelry box. A... Oh, it's modern. <laughs> Made to look old. You got to be very careful. Like that one is definitely modern. What'd you find, Justin? Some beautiful pictures. This one's in Russia. I'm not sure what the other one is. The red one is nice. Yeah. Oh. It oh, it's old. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Is it correct right here? And the other one's English, which I don't mind because I like the color. That is gorgeous. I do like that. David. It's a gift set. David. Is this silk? Maybe. Oh, remember these things? never seen anything like this before. See, this is a Mark's Tolazane. Right there. Oh, look at this. That is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. It's like part of the set. That one and that one. Oh, yeah, it's part of the book set. That's beautiful. Let's pull it up. <laughs> That's a set. Uh, so, yeah, look, it's broken. See, see right here? It's broken in the thing. That says Paris on it. Does it? Yeah. It's really old. I like these. Let's ask how much these are. You got all of them? Yeah. You mine? Hey, what? You want to set it down? It's going to be heavy. Interesting. It's beautiful. Justin's off by himself. <laughs> beautiful. That is gorgeous. Wow. So definitely getting this beautiful thing. It's from the 1950s. This one I just spotted. Justin, you're gonna need to polish this up. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I love the ornate design on the side. It's beer time. We need a break. What happens at these V Greniers is that when you order any type of drink, you have to pay extra for the cup. Um, it's like a euro deposit, and then when you return the cup, you get your euro back. And now Justin has navied us to another route. He navied us. We are headed to another village. Do you remember the name, honey? Uh, nope. <laughs> to Le Jour Nope. Beautiful mansions here. Look at this Maison de Maître. Gorge. Hi, toi. Merci beaucoup. It's beautiful. Merci beaucoup. What is the bottom? That's a nice picture. Yeah, it's nice. Spot. 
And then that's it. This is the end part, and then we can go home, I think, finally. <laughs> Finally in bloom. I have to show you. Look at this. This would have belonged, I think, to maybe a 13, 14 year old girl almost 200 years ago. It's silk, handmade, obviously, with beautiful Victorian style buttons. Look at the embroidery on the bottom and on the belt. Look how thin the sleeves are. This would be for a young girl's room if she appreciates dress up without actually dressing up, if you know what I mean. So this is the bow detail like that. And the waistband or waist ribbon. And again, this does not, <laughs> my waist is way too big. So it wraps around like so. There we go. And then there's a little button here that you would clasp. There's a loop, sorry, there's a loop and you attach it to the little button. So that would be the dress. Oh my goodness, how adorable. Really good condition for its age, but there are, um, there are a couple of tears, just a couple minor, minor fixes. There are a few stains and there's some yellowing on the fabric, but I would soak this in baking soda myself, but I don't want to touch it. I found it as is, so I will leave it up to the buyer to, um, to you know, preserve, to clean it and preserve it the way that they would want to. There's definitely crystal in there. Oh, I'd be. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's crystal in there. God, that's really pretty. Really glad I can find these things for you. Yeah, there's some crystal in there. So you compare this dish with that one. You kind of have a little bit of a set. jewelry in there.
Okay, friends and family, this will conclude today's video. Thank you all very much for watching our little video today. Just as a friendly reminder that the Etsy shop will be open for one more week and then we will be on a break for a month. I'll keep you all posted on the Instagram to let you know when I plan to reopen and to uh, give you an update on what we've been up to. So I wish you all well, happy spring or fall, depending where you are in the world. And we'll see you again. Take care. Bye.